Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to open this package. This is something I ordered through CD Japan. I had ordered it over a weekend and in less than a week it already arrived, which is really cool. <laughs> So if you've been following me on Instagram, there was a period where I was talking about a particular anime uh, that I had binge watched and I instantly fell in love. And so I went down the rabbit hole of trying to find everything that I could find and things that I missed out on. And I'm so glad that these particular items, I mean, they're all the same, but that these particular items were still available despite it being a limited release. And this is something that I don't normally buy, um, but I'll talk about that uh, when I start opening it. So let's just get started. So this was actually the very first CD Japan order I ever made, and this was back in February and March. I just thought I needed to snag these limited release copies of the 86 Blu-rays, and I did it in a heartbeat. I was fresh off of watching the 86 anime and was so highly impressed with A1's production quality, the animations, the cinematics, the epic music, and just the overall story. So here's the first box with Lena on the cover. Shine on the back. All the box cover arts are drawn by the light novel artist Shirabi, who is an amazing artist. Uh, the mechanical designs are by 1-4, if that's how you say their name. Uh, since this was my first time buying Japanese Blu-rays, I was surprised by how much came in them, although I shouldn't be considering how much each costs when there's only two or three episodes in a disc. So this is a production report with insight from the director, Toshimasa Ishii, uh, so an interview and screenshots from the first two episodes. Uh, this newly written novel by Asato Asato in this magical girl universe, uh, the art was drawn by Suzume Somemiya. And then an art booklet with character designs from the anime series. These are the 86. And then a mechanical CG of the uh, various legion, which are the self-sustaining drone army, and then environment artwork for the setting, mostly of the Republic of San Magnolia and the 86 sector. But here's Theo and Raiden on volume two. And this one comes with an audio drama CD and episodes three to five. Here's the second volume for the Magical Girl series with the cutest drawing of Shin. <laughs> oh my god, look at him. It's so cute. And then this volume's production report has interviews from the scriptwriters. Here's volume three with Anju on the front and Kurena on the back. This volume's Magical Girl novel with Achibi, Kurena, and Raiden. Then episodes 6 to 8. And then the key animation booklet and usual production report from the character designer and chief animation director. Uh, I'll do a quick flip through of the key animation book. When I was browsing 86 things, I saw people selling this separately and thought, Oh my god, I need it. <laughs> Only to realize it comes with the Blu-rays. Here's volume 4 with Shin and Lena and Annette on the back. Uh, the Magical Girl novel for this one. And a pamphlet for the series music, which if you recognize the name Hiroyuki Sawano, well, Attack on Titan, <laughs> which I've never watched or read. Please don't come for me, uh, but the music for 86 is amazing and so strategically used. Here's good boy Fido, best support character. Uh, again, the music CD, and then of course, uh, episodes 9 to 11. The production report this time has interviews with the composer and director. Here's volume 5 with Shin and Frederica and then Bloody Regina on the back. This has episodes uh, 12 to 14. Uh, the production report interviews Asato Asato, the novelist. This edition of Magical Girl with Frederica and the artworks volume two, which has the characters during their time at the Republic of Jihad. I think this is considered core two 
of season one of the anime. Uh, some more characters, and then continued threat with some new legion and new locations. Here's volume six with Raiden, and then Anju on the back. The next installment of the magical girl novel with a worried looking chibi shine making a comeback he's so cute <laughs> here's the audio drama cd in episodes 15 to 17 and the production report interviews shirabi the main illustrator for the series i'll include a flip through of their 86 art booklet at the end of the video if you'd like to see it here's kure now in volume 7 and then theo on the back this has episodes uh, 18 to 20. Uh, the production report interviews the CG director, which is kind of cool because the CG in 86 is top notch. Uh, the third Magical Girl novel installation, and then another key animation booklet. Uh, I love all kinds of artwork, whether it's from animators or mangakas. Uh, these keyframe ones are cool to see because it's like seeing progress artwork. And from the videos I've seen of animation studios, a lot of work goes into a single frame. And lastly, volume 8 with Lena and Shin, and then the rest of the group on the back. Can't forget Fido, the best companion. And this has another special drama CD, and then episodes 21 to 23. Uh, the production report goes back to the director and Asato Asato for interviews. And then this cute volume 4 novel. So that's all for the 86 limited release Blu-rays and all their bonus extras. We're going to transition to a Zen Market unboxing that has a majority of 86 things, but other series as well uh, that I bought secondhand on Mercari Japan. So just going to take everything out first. And this is a Japanese copy of How I Met My Soulmate Volume 3 by Anashin. I pre-ordered this particular one because I wanted these little extras, this EOD bookmark, which I've used many times already, and then this paper insert with EOD and Yuki wearing kimonos. I love this illustration. Uh, I wish I had it as a postcard though. Uh, I know this series is officially licensed for English, which I will be getting, so I'll probably stop getting the Japanese volumes unless there's a really special extra. These next items are going to be from Horimiya. Uh, this is one of the large shikishi boards I wanted the most. I'm not sure how this was getting sold, if it came with a G Fantasy magazine issue because they're quite large, uh, but this is a 26th anniversary illustration Hagiwara Daisuke did for G Fantasy. It's so beautiful. And then the next shikishis were a bundle, but I mostly just wanted one of the boards. Uh, this one's still cute. Uh, it's the 24th anniversary illustration. Hori wearing her hair in pigtails, which is a rare occurrence. And then this 23rd anniversary illustration. My only gripe with this one is that Hori's right eye looks like she's in the middle of doing a wink. <laughs> but here's the shikishi I wanted the most. I don't know if this is supposed to be the 25th anniversary illustration because I have the 27th and 28th. Uh, but anyways, I love that they're dressed up in this hybrid mix of Japanese and Western. I don't know if any of you have read Usutoki Rhetoric, but it's like that time period. Uh, but it's so cool that it folds. It really does make displaying it so easy. Now onto the 86 merch. I thought to browse Amazon Japan and randomly saw this spearhead carabiner S-type clip and just added it to cart. I can use this for my keys if I ever want to. And next is this small acrylic with one of my most favorite Shine illustrations ever. He looks so good. Shirabi outdid themselves with this one. And then of course, I can't forget to also get a matching acrylic with Lena, the Bloody Regina version. These are a nice size for displaying. For this next one, I'm plugging an 86 spoilers tag here and you can skip to this timestamp just in case. You'll end up skipping the rest of the Zen Market unboxing segment, uh, so last warning. Okay, I had to get this scene. If you watched 86, you know. Anyways, here's another set of postcards. This one is double-sided. A Shine Shikishi board. And then from this bundle of items, uh, I got a three-piece uh, Shine acrylic sandy with the headless skeletal knight as a backdrop. 
and some Japanese manga I picked up, all from 86. Uh, this is volume 2 of Operation High School, which is a comedy romance spin-off which I read and enjoyed. Volume 1 of Run Through the Battlefront, which unfortunately got cancelled due to the manga's health. Uh, there's no English print of this or the previous volume either, so that's why I got them. My uh, last item in the Zen Market box was a pricey one. Many, if not all, of you will probably think I'm crazy for getting this, but I had to pick it up. Uh, one of my friends shared that 86 had a limited edition box that held uh, the last four Blu-ray volumes, and I have a weakness for pretty boxes, as strange as that sounds, <laughs> but I guess as a collector, it shouldn't be a surprise. I literally just bought the box off someone on Mercari Japan, and I'm glad it arrived undamaged and not bent considering it wasn't filled with anything, uh, which since I have the Blu-rays, I can insert them in now. So five, six, seven, and eight. This makes me so happy. <laughs> the illustrations are gorgeous, so I have no regrets. Mercari Japan is so dangerous for endlessly browsing secondhand merch items. But this is the result of infinitely scrolling through things. <laughs> so here's my Zen Market haul for this round. Uh, so basically completing my large Shikishi Horimiya G Fantasy Anniversary collection. I actually don't know if there's any more out there that I don't have. Um, but yeah, and then just <laughs> this one. Uh, you are the one I'm destined to fall in love volume with a couple extras and then 86. <laughs> I have a lot of 86 things now. All right, here's another CD Japan order. And so you know the drill, this is going to be more Blu-rays. And I keep telling some of my friends that I'm not a Blu-ray collector, but I guess at this point that's total cap. <laughs> so let's just get this open. So right after my 86 fixation or uh, shopping spree, <laughs> I was also hit hard by the Given anime. Uh, so here starts my Given haul with the limited release volume 1, which comes with the storage box to hold all these subsequent volumes. And you know me and boxes. Uh, I'm just glad Japan is thoughtful enough to include stuff like this. And then we have uh, volumes 2 to 4, uh, plus the movie. So just going to rearrange them in order. Here's volume two with Uenoyama on the front cover, the back side. Then volume three with Haruki. Some more screenshots on the back. And then volume four with Akihiko. This one concludes the anime episodes. Here's the movie box. Uh, the movie comes in its own box. Uh, these are all such nice quality and I'm obsessed with the packaging and graphics. So like I said, this volume 1 comes with the storage box for the other volumes. I almost bought the box separately like I did with 86 because I wasn't sure if I bought volume 1 that it would come with it, uh, but thankfully it does. So uh, Mafiyu is on the cover for this one and volume 1 has episodes one and two. Uh, this is what the disc case looks like and then the blu-ray itself. It comes with uh, a separate illustration card of the volume box cover and a booklet that has screenshots of the two episodes and I completely forgot to show uh, what the OSD CD looks like but that's also included and then an extra manga. Here's a volume 2 with Uenoyama. Uh, this has episodes 3, 4, and 5. Here's the disc case. And oh my god, again, I forgot to show that a drama CD is also included with the Blu-ray. The same illustration card and then an art book plus the usual booklet with episode information, staff info on the drama CD, and then another given manga original. The art book has character sheets, info on the musical instruments and equipment they use, which is really cool, and then interviews. Here's volume 3 with Haruki. This one has episodes 6, 7, and 8. 
Uh, aside from the Blu-ray, it has another OST CD, which I forgot to show. <laughs> the Haru illustration card, and then supplemental booklet. Uh, while I love the given manga, the anime definitely elevates it because of the music. It's a must watch, and I love how they include OSTs in these box sets, uh, but this was another original manga short from Natsuki Kizu. And last for the anime series is volume 4 with Akihiko, and this has the last three episodes, 9, 10, and 11. Uh, this set having a drama CD alongside the Blu-ray disc, and then Aki's illustration card and a matching book and uh, art book. I love how consistent these extras are. They're so graphically beautiful and make for such an aesthetic collection. And it's great that these come with unique extras like manga bonuses outside of the main manga. And then the art book has more of the school setting, the concert venue, and other significant areas to the series. Finally, the movie box that's in this really nice olive green, which is one of my favorite colors. Uh, this movie focuses more on Haru, Aki, and Getsu's relationship and features one of Given's other main songs, A New Day Will Dawn. I'm obsessed with how these disc cases look, uh, from the font to the layout and the colors. Uh, this also comes with the OST CD besides the actual movie. This illustration is a slipcover for the English Blu-ray. This one you just saw with the box artwork. And this one is the English Blu-ray case cover. Again, another booklet and art book. The booklet has uh, these hilarious four comma strips. And then another original comic that's Ugetsu focused. And then the art book has uh, the characters as they are in the movie. And some instruments, and then environments and settings. Uh, the music for the movie is just as amazing. So taking out the filler, I'll put the volumes into the series box set case. These neutral tones are so pretty. Yeah, there's a gap, which is a bit of a shame, but I overlook it because how beautiful are the covers and the colors, the design of this Blu-ray set. I turn them around just to see because I love these colors so much and I'm happy to have these in my collection. Last set of items from CD Japan will be these drama CDs. I had missed ordering the fourth CD, so that will be in another video. I'll quickly show what all of them look like on the front and back. Uh, so what I like doing with drama CDs is having them play while I'm reading the manga. I just pace myself to match the speed of the audio. Uh, I know others probably read faster and doing it this way might be too slow for some. Uh, I think the added voice acting is like quote unquote watching the anime but reading the manga at the same time, if that makes any sense. <laughs> But I'm not quite sure what uh, this live edition actually means though, but that's what's on CD 2 and 5. This is the first CD, which uh, was called the Simple Edition. I believe this is a re-release of the first CD. And then uh, the cover has uh, these extra manga panels, which is cool. And the second CD. Here's the live edition that I mentioned. And then the slip cover for this is neat. So you have Mafuyu with a mic in front. And then this manga panel with him and Yuki on the beach. And just some cast and staff information. Not sure why they decided to do this, but CD3 has a CD jacket. Uh, but here's the cover. And then the back. Inside uh, doesn't have much. At least for the pamphlet, I think it's just info on the uh, previous CD releases. But this illustration is really nice and I love the pop of red. And the last CD has this Mafuyu illustration, another live edition, and then the actual drama CD. I love how graphically in theme all the given merch is. 
So the cover has uh, the front film with Mafiu and inside, I'm not sure if these are lyrics, but I think so. And then Mafiu, of course. Uh, so that's the last of the given things. So go back to 86. I figured since I haven't shown this, I would do a flip through of the Shirabi 86 art book that they did for Comic Market 99 or Comic Hat. Life is free. So I bought this second hand and it was a pricey item, but Shirabi is too amazing of an artist to pass up. I mean, just look at these illustrations and it's 86, so it's the perfect storm. <laughs> Uh, light novel artists are really something else. Uh, so yeah, I'll just cycle through these amazing illustrations. If you made it through all the 86 and given things, I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the extras. Uh, let me know if you're a fan of these series like I am or if you were ever thinking about checking them out. Uh, but thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care.